get to the Ukraine, I'm currently in my host family's little apartment. It's super cute. There's all these little plants and then back here's my bed and then I have some little like storage cubes and my suitcases. I haven't unpacked yet. Don't know if I will because I think we're only here for the first month and then we go out to a little like suburb and we're at like a big summer camp house type of deal. But yeah, we're here. It's still kind of surreal. I feel like I thought that like once I got off the plane it would start to hit me but I think it is like starting to hit me just a little bit because I'm alone. <laughs> um, I met up with the other girls or some of the other girls in my group in Paris um, because my original flight actually was delayed so I would have missed my two connecting flights. So they rerouted me from Cincinnati to Paris, Paris to Kiev and a lot of the people who flew out or everyone who flew out from Salt Lake City were in Paris so we were on the same flight over here and so yeah i got to know them like a little bit not that much though because we were kind of separated on the flight um since like i my ticket was booked separately and then once we got here we obviously like went through customs and all that kind of stuff and then um we had our native or our in-country coordinators who separated us into groups and then they took us to our host families and i was the first one to get dropped off but I'm definitely like so happy to be here. I'm so excited to like start teaching and start exploring um, the city. I think tomorrow we're doing, it's their Easter, um, April 28th. So I think we're just hanging out with our host family all day and then we're gonna reconnect on Monday for like culture classes and school tours and then we start teaching on Thursday. So yeah, I feel like I really haven't like been out there yet. And so I feel like it's still like, I'm in that in-between phase and I just wanna like, get hit so hard that it's like real and it's happening don't know if that will ever happen but that's where i am it's 4 55 here um kiev is seven hours ahead from back home so it's only 9 55 a.m over there um but i've just been talking to my parents a little bit i'm like really tired i only got like two and a half hours of sleep last night on the plane so i think i'm just gonna take a nap for a little bit my host family isn't here right now um, so I think I'm just going to nap till I get home and it's like dinner time and stuff like that. Um, maybe watch a show. I don't know. I usually like can't sleep when it's light outside. So I'm just going to at least try to rest. But yeah, I made it. It's crazy. It's surreal. Um, but I'm so excited, especially to like start like getting into a routine a little bit. I'm definitely kind of a routine person. So I'm excited to get to explore the schools and start planning lessons and teach the kids and all that kind of fun stuff. So it has been a little while since I've chatted with you guys. It's 9.40 p.m. Monday, April 29th. Um, today we was our first day of training. So we went to um, my group's school. There are three different schools here. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to like each of the schools. And then Thursday we start teaching. Um, so yeah, Monday was at our school, which is about like a 30, 20-ish minute walk, I guess. Um, and we got to just kind of like, obviously we got a tour. We got to know like the other girls a little bit better because I still don't know a lot of the girls who are in the other group. I mean, like I know them, but like I don't know much about them. Um, and then we split off with our native coordinator and like our school coordinator. Um, and she kind of explained like our schedules and what we would be doing and stuff like that. Um, so it was... So it's good information. Um, it's a lot of information. Uh, I'm teaching from 3 to 7.10, Monday through Friday. Uh, and I have like mostly older kids, but there are a few younger kids as well. Um, so that'll be fun too. I was kind of hoping for the morning with the younger kids, but I'm actually excited to have older kids because they've already been in the program. So I feel like they won't be like 
as difficult to like get to follow the rules and stuff like that because I'm not a very good disciplinarian um so yeah we did that and then we had <laughs> Domino's for lunch and then we are, we had the day free so we left um most of us well most of the people went home I think um but Christine who is in my group she lives about 10 minutes uh 10 minute walk from me we decided to go explore nobody else wanted to come with us um and so we wanted to just go see the city so we went to Independent Square and a couple of different cathedrals um and it was just fun to get to know like the metro system and just get to explore it a little bit more yesterday like I went to the um the motherland monu monument or Big Mama, she's known as, um, which was really fun, but it was just like a very small portion of Kiev. So it was cool to see a little bit more of it. And then I think tomorrow after our training, we're gonna do like a group activity and all hang out together, which will be super fun. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like I'm getting more adjusted and I'm more comfortable here and like with the girls and with my host family and with the food and all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually surprised. I know that it's like, I'm still in the honeymoon phase I think and then like next week or like maybe the next week it'll kind of crash and like not be as good but um yeah I'm happy with where everything is at um my host family I got home around eight and they are not home yet um so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and work on my paper I have a paper due Thursday and so it's mostly written, we just have to apply a theory to um, our experience. So it's for intercultural communication, which is the class that I was homeless for, for a weekend. So I'm just like detailing like the weekend and like applying um, the anxiety and uncertainty management theory to it. Um, so I'm just gonna review it. I have most of it written, but I just need to like reiterate like theory, make sure theory is all throughout there. And then I'm probably gonna go to bed. I've been going to bed like 10, 30, 11. But this morning, I didn't wake up until 10, and we have to be to the school at 10, so I have to get up probably around like 8 or 8.30 in the morning, so I'm going to try and go to bed a little bit earlier tonight. So sad, there is no office in um, Kiev in the Ukraine, so I still have two episodes downloaded um, from when I left the States, but it's just so sad because like that is my show, and... It's just like such a fun like quick little like show to, especially to watch like before bed so I'm hoping to like maybe find some clips on YouTube because I don't know how I can go three months without watching The Office. So yeah I feel like I've been talking a lot. I feel like this video is probably going to be kind of boring just me like sitting and explaining. Um, I got a few clips while I was out in Kiev but mostly I'm just like trying to take it all in and um be present obviously and like get to know my new city because that's one of the things that they say helps the most with like culture shock and just being sad and anxious and stuff like that all right so it is wednesday morning it's 8 30 i just woke up my host family has actually been um come home last night i think they just spent the night somewhere else um so i'm here home alone they usually though like they stay up really late here and then they don't wake up and like get going till like 10 or 11 it's kind of strange but yeah i have to be at my school which is about 25 minute walk in um at 10 and it's 8 30 so i have to leave here around 9 30 um to meet up with the girls who live like down a little bit for me so i'm going to get some breakfast i think she left me crepes so i'll probably do that and then i'm gonna make myself a coffee too because their coffee is so good i'm really tired if you guys can't tell yesterday i was or we were gone for like 12 hours um i left here around 9 30 to go to the school to then like navigate the metro system to get to a different school that other girls are teaching at um so that started like we started everything at 12 and then we went off to like explore around like three and we didn't get home to like 10 so i'm super tired my feet are really sore i didn't really bring like enough good shoes i don't think and it's so rainy and cold so like i'm wearing my sneakers and they're fine but not to like wear for 12 hours so my feet are just super sore
all right so i'm about to head out for the day but i just wanted to give you guys like a quick little house well apartment tour so here we go so this is the front door here this is where we take off our shoes put on inside shoes we have a little living room type thing they don't really do living rooms here that's parents bedroom this is my bedroom which is so nice that's my bed <laughs> here's all my supplies and crafts um, and then through here we have the kids bedroom down there this is the sink and the shower and then yeah that's the weird thing the light switches are on the outside and then this is the toilet there and then this is the kitchen so we got the dining table coffee machine uh, the sink microwave stove and then such a cool view it's been raining all week <laughs> and it's supposed to keep raining for like a week so i've got my rain jacket on i've got my umbrella my backpack i'm gonna fill up my water bottle and then head out the door to meet my people So that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i think the last clip was actually i don't even know what it was of um but thursday and friday we ended up teaching it was good it was a little chaotic just getting used to the method and the kids and learning their names and how much time to give for everything um so i'm excited to have a full week of teaching from here on out so that we can really get used to it but yeah it was good it's definitely different um it's hard it's challenging but it's super fun the kids are so cute and they're so much fun to talk to so it's really really good so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe follow me on instagram i am posting lots on instagram um i'll probably just still post about once a week on here um, just because I feel like that's kind of all that I can manage with sightseeing and teaching and planning and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little like sporadic and all over the place, but I feel like that's kind of how my first week was. And that's how it felt, so um, I feel like it's a good reflection of that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!